Top five playbooks in Madden 25. For number five on our list is going to be the Cincinnati Bengals offensive playbook. Super good. Uh, this playbook has doubles with the PA zone read with the double crossers. It has uh, tight white off, which is a really good formation with flood drive, mesh spot, PA go slot cross. You have uh, the cool, unique combination here of bunch strong, nasty, bunch offset, and tight slots, which is a really good three formation combination to have. You have bunch strong, nasty with some unique plays and some good staple plays like wide trail and mesh flat spot and PA, PA double post, kind of a unique play here. You have bunch offset with flood, speed dig, smash return, verts, PA dig fork, really good there. And then you have tight slots, and this tight slots – is not as good as tight slots halfback week, in my opinion, but this tight slots has like blue routes to the slot as a play action play. Um, it has corner routes, mesh. You can create a lot of the routes. This formation is pretty decent. This play drive switch is actually crazy. We're going to take a look at this here for you. I told myself I wasn't going to do any plays, but I can't help myself. We're going to look at this drive post. So what you're going to see here. And T. Higgins has low-key been absolutely terrible for me. But you have this deep post. So all we're going to do is we're just going to take Jamar Chase, put him on a corner route on the left side. You can stem it if you want to. But the main thing we're looking for here is for this deep post to bomb coverage. And I'm not. I'm also never blitzing anyone ever again in practice mode. I'm so – like, they just shed you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter in practice mode. They just literally instant shed you. And as you see, we don't beat cover four, unfortunately. But we will be able to beat cover three, and I'll show you how to beat cover three. So we're just going to streak Gusecki, corner route Jamar Chase, and you'll see here this should be a cover three bomb. And there you see, he gets over the top of cover three for a one play score. So you have kind of some unique routes within within this within this uh, playbook. Coming in at number four on our list is the Chicago Bears offensive playbook. I love this playbook. This is probably my favorite playbook in the game right now. I don't know that it's the best playbook in the game. But it is probably my personal favorite. You have this wing tight left formation. This wing tight left formation is kind of crazy. It's it's like a I'm trying to think how to word it. Like it, it's just a unique formation, and you have this wide zone play. This might be one of the best red zone running plays in the game. You just can come out here, you just run this, and this thing just gets you yardage in the red zone. It's it's super super good at uh, at getting yardage inside the five. When you need to score down there, you don't want to have to pass, put the ball in harm's way. You have this wing tight formation. It does have a 26 duo as well. 26 duo, kind of a unique handoff that oftentimes is very difficult for the opponent to shoot. So you have that going for you. And then really what makes this offensive playbook super good is the combination that you have in your shotgun formation between bunch strong nasty and bunch strong offset. And you have this play flood. This play flood is a super good play in this game. What I like to do typically is I'm going to put my bunch strong uh, nasty RPO bubble, like basically standard audibles for this mesh flat spot, RPO bubble, wide trail, and then probably this play uh, d -d 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 dagger, super good. Dagger is probably a top five play in the game this year. And then I'm going to be coming out in bunch strong offset. And bunch strong offset, it has so many good plays. Corner strike, a lot of people don't realize that corner strike has the best corner out in the game. It, it is the best corner out in the game. It's not even close. It's so good. It beats man zone. You can give it a speed burst. So I like to come out with these audibles and bunch strong offset. And then I'm going to be coming out in the play flood. And the reason I'm going to be coming out in the play flood is because it is a stock cover four beater. We'll see if Caleb can make this throw. But basically, you're going to streak the slot. Uh, whoops, I messed it up. Uh, you're going to streak the slot. And then you're going to stem the tight end corner all the way down. And a lot of times what will happen here against cover four is – and it, it totally didn't happen that time. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they patched it already. I don't know. But um, the tight end corner is open, as you can probably see. So if the, if, the, if the deep fade does not get open, your tight end corner will get open. But you'll see here. See how I'm getting bumped? That's probably why. I'm probably just getting rerouted. Good old reap and Praxmo just is so filled with just crazy stuff that just to me makes no sense. That's why I've kind of started to just say, all right, I'm just going to do all my labbing in an actual game because Praxmo just is so weird. Look at the look, look, look at that. Look at how I just got bumped, and then look now I can't throw it. Um, but you see there, oh, we'll just ag him. Why not? I mean, when in doubt, just ag. But basically, what'll happen is, and and if they don't bump him, 
Uh, we're going to show that here. So they're not going to hopefully bump him. And what you're going to see is that this sl slot will clear out the middle or the inside quarter, and then this fade will, will basically get open. Here you'll see it. And then you can just throw this to the right, and Caleb's going to have a hard time making the throw. But you see what I'm showing. I have a tip video on the side or uh, on the um, YouTube channel about it. But I am going to be dropping an ebook on this in our school community. So if you're not a school community member, the link's in the description below. Ten bucks gets you access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks for both Madden and for college football. So if you want to get better at the game, best place to do it. You have kind of a unique play in this Bears quarterback sweep. And then I think this play also has a crack toss and a read option. Read options get, gets really good blocking uh, in the run game this year. All right, bunch Y flex. This play, this formation is super underrated. You have this, uh, this play motion inside post. So what's cool about this play is this post route is really good, and it's going to get into a good part of the field. What I would really recommend is just streaking this X receiver. You could pretty much just call hike like this, and what you're going to see is I'm going to get instant shed because I didn't spy everybody on the field because you have to spy everybody in this game. If you don't spy everybody, they will just shed you. Good old practice mode. But what you're going to see is R1 is going to be open. And X is going to run his route terribly. But R1's route is really good. Okay? R1's route is really good. It beats man. It beats zone. Let me show it to you against man because I feel like man is harder to beat this year than zone. Consistently, rather. Uh, but this is just a, a cover to man. So one thing you can actually do with this that's kind of cool, too, is just drag him. Like, you just don't want X on a route. But let's just drag him here. And watch, watch this. This is essentially smash return. But you now have a better, a much better man beating post that gets into kind of a unique spot on the field. So, bunch Y flex. A lot of people sleeping on it. There's a lot of, it just gives you a lot of value. Like you can have uh, inside motion inside post. You could have the play speed dig. You actually have a, a true smash return play. You have flood in here, verticals. You just have some cool plays. But that is going to be that for that formation. Uh, double stack. Kind of a fun little bubblegum type formation. This draw is actually insane. So draws in this game, a lot of people haven't realized, but there's a really cool handoff that happens with the draw. The draw handoffs this year are a lot better than they've ever been, and you can slide protect on draw plays. So you see here I'm going to slide to the right, and you see just it's just, just kind of a fun little play. Uh, I don't know if I can actually throw these screens – um, yeah, I don't think I can. I can't on this play, but I do have an RPO screen play in here as well. So just kind of a, a fun little offense to kind of mix in. It is a bubblegum offense 100%, but this year the RPOs aren't as good as they used to be, especially against man. But if they're running a lot of zone or zone blitzes, this could be a fun little formation to have. Okay, So you also have a true spread formation. I actually really like their spread formation because of this play H wheel. This play H wheel is going to do a really good job. This post is a sharp cutting post, and so it'll beat man really well. Sharp cutting posts are super hard to find in this game, so any formation that has one is automatically going to be really good, right? So that's really the only reason I like this spread. They do have this mesh play uh, with the sharp. These are sharp outside corner routes. The problem is because they're, sh they're so far out there, you almost can't you see how I can't really throw them that well. So I need them to be more inside, which is the biggest weakness of this. But you do have that sharp cutting post. It, the spread in the Bears playbook is very similar to the spread that was in the Air Raid uh, playbook. PAH cross. Like it's more of an Air Raid offense. So you have some cool stuff. This RPO slot slide is insane. Mesh post. I'll show you mesh post here. Actually, this is probably one of my favorite plays. I wish this play was better than it actually is because – because this guy, you see here I can motion him to the right and I'll bring him in a little bit. If I can get him to come inside more, this is now an easy man-beating route for me on the left side. And then the other thing that I have here, as I was already talking about, is I have that sharp cutting post. So by having these sharp cutting routes, they just beat man a lot better than the hot route post, hot route corners. Okay? But that is the, uh, that is the Bears playbook. So I really like having really these two formations together. This formation's kind of a mix-in. And then you also have this trips formation. This trips formation uh, is really good. It has a cover, couple cover coverage beaters in it, and it has a really good inside zone. So in certain situations, you might want to have access to that. But that is the Bears playbook. Coming in at number three on our list is going to be the Miami Dolphins offensive playbook. And the main reason why we are going to be using this as our number three playbook 
is because we have this formation in their shotgun. So I'm going to first kind of walk through some of this stuff. You have wing pair stretch. You have ace close uh, with a jet sweep and a, uh, a zone one. You have the deuce close. Their deuce close is okay. Has a zero one trap, has a stretch, but I don't think it has a jet sweep. This wing close is, is kind of insane. You have some, you have some, you have some crazy like bubble bubblegum type of plays in this playbook. This playbook was kind of the inspiration for a lot of the cheat motion plays that you're seeing. So for example, like this pitch wide receiver verse, we're just, we just we just have to run this play. I don't know if this is any good. Oh, it's good. Look at Tyreek. Yeah, it's not very good. But you have a lot of these new plays. So a lot of the new plays and new concepts that got added into this game got added in got added to the Miami Dolphins playbook or you know basically that was kind of the inspiration. So you have that. The other thing that you have in this playbook that's really good is you have uh, look at this bunch X nasty. Look at these cheat motions. These cheat motions are cool. So like this cheat uh, this cheat motion, the whole purpose of it honestly is to kind of beat man coverage. Let me see if I can just run man. I don't know that it'll actually beat man, but you all you have to do to set this play up is just in route your tight end and streak your slot. And then, and then you can literally just run this cheap motion, motion where he's going to get kind of like a, a speed burst off the line of scrimmage. And then you have, you know, that nice sharp cutting post. So a lot of these cheap motion plays actually have really good routes this year. If you don't want to run the, the actual motion, then just put the guy in motion on a route. And then you can just run, like, run the play for the routes in the play. Okay? So you have some, some cool stuff like that in this playbook. Uh, you have you have kind of standard under center stuff. Uh, the eye slot is kind of cool with the. I don't even know what this. We got to run this play too. They just have some some crazy plays. Like this is just kind of like a unique playbook. I don't even know what I'm running here, but we're just running it. Look at the <laughs> look at that play. Look at that play. Like it just has some kind of cool stuff that you can do. I think that as far as like comp, you know, a lot of the comp are being the best possible. You're probably not going to run a lot of the bubblegum type plays. But there are some really cool ones in here. Uh, and there actually are some that do have a play in Comp Madden, like Jet Sweep, like, um, the sh you, know, you know, different things like that. So, anyways, they have Strong Close. One of the, you know, not a lot of people have Strong Close. This playbook has it. Uh, wing Slot Close, pretty underrated. Uh, pistol, pistol Tight Flex. Oh, look at this formation just looks insane. Like, I don't even know, like, like it just looks insane. So, I, I you can try it out. Um, but let's get into the shotguns. This is the bread and butter. They have split close. They have some pretty cool stuff out of split close. Uh, they probably have the best split close in the game. They have split close pro. A lot of cheat motions in this. Uh, and they have split close itself. So they have kind of both versions. Split close, more traditional split close is pretty good. They have uh, normal Y off, which is kind of a fun formation. Uh, tight Y off. They have a pretty good tight Y off, too. But really, the reason you would run this formation is for its compression set. So you have tight Y off. You have tight Y off weak. This tight Y off weak is actually kind of cool. So, like, look at this Look at this play. You have a fake motion with a halfback stretch. You have a halfback stretch from shotgun here. I don't know if this is any good, but we're going to run it. <laughs> like, you just have some crazy stuff in this playbook. And it, it, it's in good formations, too. Like, PA cheat wheel post. Look at this post on the left. It's a good post route. So what do we do? We're just going to run something like this, and then maybe we can take our running back, put him on like a little underneath, underneath in route, you know, like so. So now we have essentially just a high-low read with this play, but we have it attached to a cheat motion. I don't think this this cheat motion. I'm telling you, there's there's going to be some there's going to be some stuff found with the cheat motions. I promise you, there's going to be some stuff found with the cheat motions. Uh, but as of right now, you know, they're just kind of cool plays. We don't know for sure exactly how to use them. They're not great against man, but they are really good against zone. Um, look at Tyreek. Just, let's just see if Tyreek just bombed. He did. Tyreek is, Tyreek is, is so good in this game. Like, he's, he's, he's probably the best player on regs. We have, uh, yeah, so just some cool cheap motion plays within this tight half week. But then the main formation that you want to be in, and this is why you would call this playbook is tight slots half back week. Now we're gonna have a tight slots half back week ebook on our school community page. If you're not a school member, link is in the description. Again, ten bucks gets you better at the game. Gets you better at the game for ten bucks. You can literally get all of the knowledge required to be as good at the game as you possibly can be. So tight slots half back week. We have post wheel drag. We have mesh spot. We have four verticals. Read option bench. 
So a lot of really good plays and this formation as a whole. And, and the reason why this formation is good is because it consistently, every year, this formation beats man coverage. Every year, this formation. So if you're struggling against man coverage, this formation is super good and needed. So you have this post route. You can just slant the slot. Um, the, the Dolphins actually have kind of a crazy team, to be honest. But let's take a look at this. So the other thing that's really cool about tight slots that we're going to get into here and what makes this formation really, really good, I'm going to try to press. So what makes man coverage good this year is the press animations. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this slot receiver, and we're just going to put him on a slant. And I want you to watch. You're going to see that he does not get pressed. He gets a free release. And so he's going to consistently be a man-beating receiver for you. So this tight slots is really good. You have uh, – let me go back and grab post-wheel drag. Post-wheel drag has been one of the best plays for a long time. And, again, the main thing you're going to – you know, the main defense that this is really created to beat is man. But you're going to see here, here's post-wheel drag. And let's see if this post still beats man. It does. Very nice. Nice blue pass from Tua. But you see there. So – a lot of combos you could do out of tight slots. Like, there's some really good stuff. Uh, you have – the other thing that's really cool about tight slots is you have a tight end on one side and a running back on the other side. So you can block pretty much any blitz that you need to be able to block, right? Any blitz that comes out this year, you're going to be able to block in tight slots. It's just a good formation for that. You have, wheel, you have every route you really need. You have wheel routes. You have posts. Um, and then you can create the corner route. So one of my favorite setups is mesh spot. We're just going to block the running back and basically run the play like this. And you're going to see against man coverage, they can't press that slot receiver, so he's going to get open a lot against, against press man. So that's why, I like, uh, that's why I like this formation. There's a lot of, like I said, a lot of different route combos that you can do. But I think in general this is just a all, all around, every year, staple formation for Madden. And Miami has that on top of, a lot of other stuff, a lot of cheap motion plays, a lot of good plays that you can kind of have around it. It also has, and we didn't get into this yet, but it has some unique stuff out of bunch. So it has a bunch, and it has a unique bunch. It has a bunch with cheap motion. It has uh, a nice post on the left side. You have some crazy, like, reverses and stuff. You have regular verticals. You have mesh spot. You have Z-spot and go, Y-curl, bunch, trail, like, there's, this is a solid bunch this year. Uh, bunch Y flex, you have an RPO out of this bunch Y flex. You have speed dig out, branch return. This bunch Y flex is pretty good, too. It's basically just um, essentially like a, a, a closed version of the bunch with putting different players in different positions. Bunch wide nasty, I have not tried this out yet, but this uh, play, cheat wheel, again, guys, if you're catching a theme, cheat wheel post is a good play. So let me just let me just throw uh, some some plays in here. We got branch return, which will be good play. You have let's see, Z spot, not super special. You have this rub crosser. So you have some cool stuff. Let's go cheat wheel post though. So with this post route, you see this is what makes this super good. So you have this post route on the left side, and this post route is a sharp cutting post and sharp cutting post beat man. You also have kind of a fade or glitchy fade on the left side. So how would I set up a combo for this? You know, basically we could just run the play as is and just simply drag this receiver. And you're going to see here we get this cheap motion. But then look at this. Look at this sharp cutting post. He is not beating it super well, but eventually he will. And normally, like I said, this can be beating even better. But you have that. You also have this play branch return, which is basically smash returns. So we can take Tyree Kill, put him on a streak. What I like about this formation is it's basically bunch strong nasty, but it's a wider version of the bunch, and then the running back is on the left side. So, you know, you could do something like this and kind of run an old school smash return type setup, you know. So you have something like this. That return route does a really good job against man. Early in the year, you always want to find good man-beating plays, and, and this one is, is certainly one of them. And like I said, you also have bunch wide flex, which you'll see the difference bunch wide flex just basically flips where Tyreek is so not a huge deal but but something to note and then you have you have this um this play if I can find it ph sheet divide wheels out of regular bunch this 
what makes bunch good every year, like what really separates a good bunch is one of two things. It's either a really glitchy fade route or it is a good post route to the solo receiver. As you see here, we have a good post route to the solo receiver. So we can run combos around it, right? We could just drag this guy, you know, straight the slot, drag this guy and just call it good. This is probably a really good play. I'd probably block my running back because you also get play action blocking, which is really good this year. And look at that post route. See how that post route cooks, man? And it gets into a, a better spot of the field than like a hot route post is going to. So you'll see here. See how, and watch him. He's going to cross the field. He'll go all the way across. That's another good thing about these post routes. They go all the way across. So anyways, you have a really cool post route in the Dolphins playbook, and that's why it is number three on our list. Number two on our list is the Packers playbook. I feel like the Packers had to be on this list just for the sole reason of the fact that they literally just have volume. <laughs> like this is a volume playbook. There's so many good things in this playbook. You've got wing tight nasty. Um, you've got deuce close, wing close, like some decent under center stuff. Bunch X nasty with a wide zone, uh, tight Y off and tight Y off flex. But the main thing you have here, you have I close flex. I form wing with a stretch. Good. Uh, you have strong close. A lot of playbooks don't have strong close. Actually, a good strong close. You have PA tight end scissors, mesh post, and FL drive. So you have a lot of good routes here. Uh, wide receiver out. What's really cool about this wide receiver out play, this sharp post to the tight end. This is why you would call this play. So all you have to do is just slant. Like this is – if you ever you ever struggle with man coverage, guys, like this is the play. This is what you want to be running to beat man. Motion slant, and then you have a sharp cutting post on the backside. So you see here, the motion slant will beat man, and then the post from the tight end will also beat man. I do think motion slants this year are just they're just really good against man and coverage, uh, which is why you should be having them in your arsenal. But the other thing that this playbook has that is worth kind of mentioning here is it has so many good formations. You have strong close, you have eye close, you have eye close, weak close, but you have shotgun tight Y off, right? Tight Y off, I would consider a good formation. Tight Y off weak, I think it's a decent formation. You have doubles. Uh, their doubles is actually a pretty good doubles. You have wide trips. This is a very unique wide trips with some cheap motions. This play, PA post cross, might have the best cover three bomb in the game. You have trips tight end. This is a pretty decent trips. It's not the best trips, but it's a good trips. Um, it's a serviceable trips. You can base out of this trips. It's really good. Uh, you have bunch wide, which I, I would still consider bunch wide. I think bunch wide is better than people are giving it credit for right now. You have a Z spot, which uh, the Z spot post is making a comeback. You have curl flat. You have some good routes in here. Wide trail. You have some good routes. But you have bunch strong offset. Bunch strong offset, really good. The only thing you don't have here, as I said earlier, I think corner strike is one of the best plays in the game. Uh, you don't have flood, but you have everything else from bunch strong offset. You have bunch strong nasty. Bunch strong nasty uh, with – good plays in it mesh flat spot you have pa double post you have some good plays in here you have bunch tight in which is really good and then a very underratedly good formation in this game is tight open and the reason why tight open is good is because it has a ton of sharp cutting post routes and wheel routes so i don't even know if i have i might not even have one in here but they have tight open let's just um let's use branch return so you see here, you have this return route. This return route will cook man, right? So you have that. Um, you also, let's just go through the audibles here and tight open, just the stock quicks. So the stock quick audibles here, you have bench. Look at these corners. You have bench return. And then you have this play verticals, halfback, uh, vertical with burst. With verticals this year, you can actually stem these wheels, uh, which is kind of unique. Let's see if we can just bomb this man coverage. Oh, what a dot. Um, but you have tight open. Tight open, I think, is uh, an underrated formation. But you just have a lot of good three by one. Like you have trips, bunch tight in, bunch nasty, bunch or bunch strong offset, uh, bunch wide. Like you just have some really cool uh, combinations of formations in this playbook. And then you do have this tight open. I think tight open a lot of uh, is going to get a lot more of a look this year. I think tight open's got a lot to offer, uh, just in terms of being able to beat man coverage consistently. And then you do have the good old-fashioned Packard trips with the slot fade. Uh, a lot of good stock fades here, good post routes. 
So this formation is got to be number two on our list just because of the sheer volume of good formations that you have. And coming in at number one on our list, this was the best playbook last year. I think this is going to be the best playbook this year. We already have a full ebook on this playbook on our school community. This is the Indianapolis Colts offense. You have this wing tight. This wing tight is a really good red zone formation. You have the stretch. You're just going to playmaker that stretch to the left side. And if you need to get a couple of yards on the ground, this is a great formation to do that in because it's very difficult for the defense to shoot this run. And you're going to be able to just get easy yardage, especially inside of the five yard line. So you have the wing tight stretch in here. This playbook also has the best bunch and best or the best bunch in the game and one of the best bunch nasties. Now you also have this wing stack. I think this wing stack could be pretty good this year too. It has a jet sweep. It has stretch. It has dive. Um, you have a single back bunch, which I don't know why you would ever call, but you have it. Uh, you have a pistol deuce close. This pistol deuce close has uh, a stretch in it. I think there's some glitchy RPOs in here too. A pistol has always been like super underrated, and I'm telling you, some of the stretches and pistol are really, really, really good. Here you go. RPO read flat wheel from doubles. And then you have some read options and stretches. Uh, but the reason you call Colts is for the shotgun. So they added split close to this this year. This is a, a great formation to have. And it's kind of more of an old school formation. You have deuce close with the RPO read flat wheel. Complete glitch play every year. I don't know why they keep putting it in the game. It is an absolute glitch play. Uh, wing stack. Wing stack. Good little red zone scheme out of this. A wing slot week with a little RPO bubble. Uh, but what you have here is you have trips tight end offset with an RPO alert bubble, RPO alert screen, X under, PA crossers, flanker close. This is a new formation. Uh, I, I think this is new to Colts this year. It might not be, but I'm pretty sure that it is. Uh, kind of a, some decent stuff in here. Their tight open is a little bit better than the Packers tight open. Uh, you do have some good man beating stuff as well. Uh, bunch wide. You have bunch wide. A lot of playbooks got bunch wide this year. I don't know how to use this formation, but I know that you have it. Uh, but really, why are you in this playbook? You're in this playbook for double post. Double post is the most powerful play probably that we've seen in Madden over the last five years. Over the last five years, this has consistently been one of the best plays in the game, if not the flat-out best play in the game every year. All you do is streak your slot receiver, and you just make reads. You got the running back over the middle, a high-low in the middle of the field. This post route will pretty much bomb um, cover three consistently. It can bomb cover four, and uh, it can be a big hitter for you against cover two. There's so many ways to run this play. Like you can uh, take your running back, put him on a streak, and try to get your C route running back streak on. There's just there's just a lot that you can do with with this with this uh, with this playbook. You know, motion out the running back on a streak. You could run something like this. There's just there's just there's just a lot here, guys. There's so much to like about this Colts bunch. It's the best bunch in the game. I don't think that it's even particularly close. What's what's interesting about bunch this year is I do think bunch is going to be good because it allows you to block on the left and the right side of the line of scrimmage. It has a this PA read play is actually really good. Uh, you have double posts. You have speed dig, Z spot, dig return, flood, smash return, verts half back under. This halfback uh, cross screen is a glitch play. Again this year you have that. And then you have a bunch strong nasty to audible to, and this bunch strong nasty is also extremely effective. You have some of the new motion plays. Um, this, this play motion smash angle is worth talking about. Because what does this play have? It has those sharp corners, and it has a running back angle route. So if we just want to streak the, literally just streak the right side guy and snap the ball, watch these short corners. A lot of times they're going to be really good for um, being good separation against man to man. Didn't get the greatest there. I am using the Colts, of course, but. Let's see here if this corner on the left side, see how it gets that sharp cut to the sideline, and then you should be able to throw that against main coverage. And then the other thing that you have here that is really good, let's get these guys out of the way, is you have this Texas route. So this Texas route, super sharp cut. I still got shedded. I still got shedded. I sent two people. Practice mode, man. I'm telling you, practice mode is insane. Let's just put these guys in verts. We just need the three wreck out of the way. The three wreck will play the will play this, but basically the running back Texas route is a man beating concept. See here, he just cuts sharp against man. 
So you have that against me, and you kind of build around that so you could legitimately just run some cool combos uh, off of that. For example, you could run a post route to your slot, and then you could drag your tight end, and then basically just have this kind of high-low read. These short corners are also stemmable, so you can turn them into slant outs. You know, So you see how we're kind of cooking up some dots out of this bunch strong nasty. Super good playbook. The Colts playbook, to me, is the clear cut, like, if you want to win more games, master this playbook. If you master this playbook, this gives you every tool you need to win at the absolute highest levels of the game. You have mesh flat spot. You have wide trail. You have dagger. You have the slip screen out of bunch strong nasty this year. So some really cool stuff in here. Um, this spread has a... I think it's this play right here, RPO read bubble. This is a, a literal glitch play. They took out the trips tight end offset weak formation in this playbook, but you now have these Y off trips. Um, you have some better versions of this with the RPO read flat. This RPO read flat is really good. So you just have so many options here in Colts. It's got a good red zone. Um, take a look here, this RPO flat. You're just going to throw this tight end, and it's very hard to defend him, especially in the red zone. So Colts, to me, is the best playbook in the game. Thanks for watching this. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know. I'll do more of them. But these are the top five playbooks in Madden 25 as of right now.